When viewed from Earth, Venus is the third brightest object in the sky after the Sun and our Moon. It is the brightest planet because it is the closest planet to Earth, and its thick clouds of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid reflect 70% of the light it receives from the Sun. But for most of the year, Venus is virtually invisible from our perspective. Hidden by the Sun's glare, Venus is only visible for a few months at a time when it approaches its greatest distance from the Sun in our sky. One of those times is this month, when Venus will be the brightest as the evening star for all of this year. Here's how it works. Venus reached its greatest eastern elongation or the absolute furthest point from the Sun in the night sky on March 24th. At this point, approximately 50% of the planet was illuminated in the night sky. On April 28th, Venus will be at its greatest brilliancy as an evening star, when it will appear as a crescent that is approximately 25% illuminated. Venus will fade and vanish from view at the end of May. On June 3rd, Venus will be virtually invisible from our perspective, as it passes directly between the Earth and the Sun and is hidden by the Sun's glare. The planet will reappear as a morning star during the third week of June. On July 10th, Venus will reach its greatest brilliancy in the morning sky with approximately a quarter of its disk illuminated. Venus reaches greatest western elongation, the absolute furthest point from the Sun in the morning sky, on August 13. At this point, half of Venus will be illuminated. Venus will then grow fainter but continue to shine in the morning sky until late autumn of this year. In the next three segments, we'll take a closer look at Venus. New research shows that Venus may have once been habitable like Earth before it was turned into a hell-like planet by a mysterious event. According to the Europlanet Society, NASA's pioneer Venus found evidence in 1978 that Venus may have once had shallow oceans on its surface. To see if it has ever had a stable climate that can support liquid water, researchers from NASA's Goddard Institute of Space Studies created a series of five simulations with different levels of water coverage. According to all five scenarios, Venus maintained a stable temperature of between 20 to 50 degrees Celsius for about 3 billion years. This means it would have been able to support liquid water and possibly allow life to emerge. Researchers believe a massive resurfacing event 700 million years ago triggered an outgassing of carbon dioxide that made Venus's atmosphere too hot and dense for life to survive. The exact cause of the resurfacing event is unknown, but scientists say it may be linked to volcanic activity. Magma and molten rock flowing up to the surface would have released large amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. If magma solidifies before reaching the top, it can create a barrier that would have prevented gas from being reabsorbed. Although more missions are needed to better understand Venus's history and evolution, the recent findings have implications for exoplanets in the Venus zone and how they may actually host liquid water and temperate climates. A new study theorizes that the dark splotches on Venus may be a sign that there's life on the planet, microbial life, that is. Climate models suggest Venus had a habitable climate and liquid water for two billion years before a runaway greenhouse gas effect raised surface temperatures and turned the atmosphere toxic. New research now suggests that microorganisms may be living in the planet's lower cloud layer, which has a stable temperature and more Earth-like atmospheric pressure. Dark patches on Venus could be microbial blooms made of sulfuric acid and other light-absorbing particles, which can persist for days while changing shape and contrast. Certain bacteria on Earth can survive in high altitudes after being swept into the atmosphere. Others have also been known to thrive in extremely harsh environments. Thus far, the probes that have explored Venus have been incapable of distinguishing between organic and inorganic particles. So until a new contraption gets there, no one knows for sure if life does exist on the hottest planet in the solar system. For the first time ever, scientists are studying Venus's mysterious night side and have found that it's vastly different from its day side. It takes Venus 225 days to revolve around the sun and 243 days to fully rotate on its axis. As a result, night and day on the planet last longer than on Earth. So far, the day side has been studied extensively, but the night side has been notoriously difficult to observe until now. Venus's atmosphere consists of strong winds blowing 60 times faster than the planet's rotation. This super rotation has been assumed to be uniform in both sides, but new data shows the winds are more chaotic and irregular on the night side. Night side clouds formed large, wavy, filament-like patterns, not seen in day clouds, and are dominated by stationary waves, which remain still and do not move with the atmosphere. 
Stationary waves are thought to form specifically over steep mountainous areas, but were recently detected in the planet's southern hemisphere, an area with low elevation. The waves were likewise assumed to be rising up through the cloud from the surface, but were mysteriously missing from the lower and intermediate cloud levels. Scientists have yet to explore what this means, but will likely need to come up with new, updated models of Venus to help them figure it out. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.